Hey what's up guys Droll here back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this multi exposure photo effect so let's get started So as you guys can see I'm going to use all of these images for my tutorial and if you want to use any of these images they are from davintag.com and the download link is in description they are free so feel free to use them. Now to the tutorial. So the final output looks really crazy but as you guys can see this is just a bunch of masking and blending options. So first of all let's go to file and create a new document. Now my size is 2800 by 1700 and these are kind of a random number so you can use different ones if you want. So hit ok. So this is the new document and we need to place the images. So go to file and let's go to place. Here you can find any image from your computer. So I'm gonna place this guy image first of all here. And then I'm gonna make it big enough so that it covers the background. So that looks kind of fine and I'm gonna make it uh, even a bit larger because uh, I want these cloudy parts to be here. So let's uh, adjust it slightly here. Okay, that looks fine. Now let's place the model image. So go to file and let's place the model. So hit enter. Now we need to flip her. So I'm gonna press ctrl T right click and I'm gonna flip her uh, horizontally so she is looking that way and hit uh, enter to confirm it now go to your uh, selection tools and select a quick selection tool actually I would recommend using pen tool but uh, quick selection might do the trick so uh, let's make a selection of her like that okay that looks fine and a bit of here and there it doesn't have to be super accurate since we are just going to use the outline not the actual image very much so just a little bit believable image would do so that looks uh, kind of enough for me and then go here and apply the layer mask so you have cut out of her uh, body and as you can see we missed this hand part so i'm gonna make a selection of her and then fill in the white color so make sure i have selected my white color go to my paint bucket tool and fill it i'm gonna fill it and that works fine and you can press ctrl D to remove the selection so this way you can make the selection now as you can see this hair and this stuff looks really really bad so I'm gonna make uh, first of all right click and go to refine mask uh, we're gonna take care of the hair but before that we need to take care of this edges so I'm gonna zoom in and as you can see this is really really rough edges so increase your feather in the refine mask and then increase the contrast and I'm gonna increase it even a little bit more and then even a bit more contrast to make it sharper and if I turn it on and off you can see the difference uh, so hit ok so that looks good enough and then right click and again select the refine mask and this time uh, make this brush slightly bigger you can use your big uh, bracket key and then I'm just gonna paint over on her hair like that a bit of uh, yeah that looks fine and then uh, hit ok because that is good enough for the effect you can spend time and keep refining it if you are using the model but we do not need that so I'm gonna make her a bit smaller and put her on this right side a little here and then hit enter so that looks uh, kind of okay uh, we're gonna go back and check the composition so here is it is so a bit gap is from here and okay that looks great so I'm gonna make, uh, rotate her even a little bit so she's kind of straight and make her bigger okay that looks great so the basic composition ready and now it's time for a lot of masking so first of all uh, rename this layer and name it uh, backup uh, because we are going to need this selection a lot so do not touch it i'm going to delete this background layer since we do not need it so i'm going to put it here and make a duplicate of her uh, by pressing ctrl j so there is a duplicate now hide this layer and do not touch it because in case you mess up something uh, this layer is going to help you. So let's work on the model. Let's name her model and name it original. Okay. So since we have already cut her we can use the selection. So when you control click on this mask it will load uh, the selection of the model. And then when you select your sky layer and apply a layer mask, it will automatically apply a mask on the layer. So we have a simple cutout of the sky and that looks really amazing. Now create another new layer and name it background. And then fill in the white color in that. So we have the basic idea ready. So here are the clouds and here is the model. Now we need to place another image. So go to file and place that's why I said multiple exposure because we are going to use more than one image 
so I'm gonna make it bigger like that and you can also decrease the opacity to see what kind of um, like adjustment you are going to use or actually your composition or that cements so that looks uh, fine to me and so I just a little bit here and there until the composition looks fine to you and that looks okay to me so fill in the opacity again and now again control click on this model layer and then apply a layer mask so you already have the cutout so the basic idea is ready and now we need to erase some of this part from here because that is really hard edge so i'm gonna grab my brush tool make sure i have black color and then i'm gonna select my layer mask make sure that and then i'm gonna erase it slightly from here and then make it even bigger so we have better smooth edges so basic idea is ready and now we need to duplicate this original model layer duplicate that one and then put it on top of everything and then change the blending mode to lighten so where is it here so as you can see the basic uh, composition is looking really nice and about that uh, sky as you can see so uh, uh, double click on this mask and then decrease the density a little bit so we can see the background uh, slightly so whenever you do this thing uh, it will reveal kind of a portion of the mask so as you can see it's not black and white anymore it's kind of a gray so you can see a little bit of background and as i said this is gonna use a lot of masking so i hope you are familiar with that since you're watching double exposure tutorial i guess so i'm gonna double click on it and also decrease the density even bit more and then let's turn it on and I'm just doing alt click on my mask so you can see it and now uh, make sure your opacity is maybe let's say 20 or 15 percent and color is white and then again paint on this some areas like that and something like this and if you have this kind of problems uh, this is uh, mainly because of the selection if you haven't done it properly you can have this type of issues so if you have this type of problem, I would recommend use a pen tool, make a selection of it and get rid of it. Uh, otherwise in quick selection, you will not get really good results. So, or try using different image, <laughs> that would be even better. So this looks kind of a fine and about as you can see that here we have that sort of fading. So you have, all you have to do is just select a sky layer and make the opacity now maybe let's say 70 or maybe 60% looks fine make the brush bigger and then paint in this certain areas like that and now select your this layer which has these stones and stuff and in that mask paint with black color so you are basically erasing some stuff from there so you have this blending of these clouds coming from her neck I'd say so let's go and paint even more so we have better transition and you can change it anytime you want since it's just a layer mask so I'm gonna paint a bit more here too so that looks fine and then uh, let's see what else we have so let's go back and I do not promise the same output uh, as you can see this is a bit different because it's an abstract thing and this thing took like three or four hours to get the composition perfect so try to understand that would be amazing and then let's see what else we have the curves layer so this curves layer is particularly so that we can create a contrast uh, between the subject and the background so I'm gonna create a new curves adjustment layers I'm gonna increase the highlights a lot and then I'm gonna decrease uh, the shadows so basically I'm gonna create an S and <laughs> and then uh, we will have a lot of contrast and as you can see this problem with selection so yeah try using a pen tool I'm telling it like thousand times <laughs> must be getting annoying so that looks okay now another sky layer and this is just a simple trick uh, duplicate this sky layer like that and put it on top of everything now again load the selection of that girl from the original model layer select your mask press ctrl shift i so it will invert the selection and then fill in the black color so and also double click and make the density 100% so we just have a regular mask and if I show you it looks something like this okay and now change this blending mode to lighten and then decrease the opacity a little so you can blend it properly and if you're wondering how do I get this idea like why this layer on light and only and why this sky layer on top so it's just a simple experiment try using different layers put some other things on top and some other things on bottom just play with it and you will have even better output than me I promise then again a black and white layer so let's go back and create a new black and white layer where is it 
and then once you have a black and white layer decrease the opacity so we can see a little bit of colors not a lot of and also this black and white layer will help you to get rid of this uh, reddish color which you have because of high contrast so now it looks much much uh, neutral and better so that looks great and let's go back and see what else we have so now we have this fire image so this is a really simple one all you have to do is just go to file and place an image and here is this fire and I'm gonna rotate it something like that hit enter now to get rid of this uh, let's say black color uh, I know you can simply put it on screen blend mode but uh, that just doesn't give me the actual output that I need if this look looks kind of fine to you use it but for me no nah, it didn't work so double click or put it on the middle like this and double click on this one oh, come on okay and then here you have this blend if options so I'm gonna blend it uh, a bit um, and make sure that you have it on gray and then I'm gonna alt click and drag it a little bit from here too so I'm gonna make it even extreme like that and drag it even further as much as I can to get rid of that black portion hit ok and you can just now erase the rest of it uh, that would be even easier so apply a layer mask uh, so grab your brush and paint with black color and make sure the blending mode is normal <laughs> so I don't know how did it how that got into dissolve maybe I messed up something so that looks uh, good and take your sweet time and do it properly so that looks great and then once you decide that okay that looks pretty dope and it is enough to put her head on fire uh, control click on this layer where is it the original model layer so you have selection of her then press control shift i so you have outside area selected then the same thing grab a brush and paint with black color like that and then erase stuff like this too so you have proper blending and that looks actually pretty good uh, I, I really love this type of overlays so and that looks pretty good and keep your take your time and erase it properly now press ctrl D to get rid of the selection now let's go back and see so the fire layer is on like 32 <laughs> percent so put it on let's say in this type of case always like first go to zero like this and then increase it so you can see actually like how much amount you actually need so in my case I already know that it's 32 but you can just play around okay and now the final layer so let's go back and what we have the curves so in curves we have nothing in red and in the green we have a bit of magenta and then blue a lot of blue so let's go to our original document and create another adjustment layer and select curves and in the curves let's go to the greens and add a bit of magenta and not a lot and then go to the blues and increase the blues from here a lot it depends on personal choice how much amount you need so I hope you guys learned something it was really messy tutorial but uh, if you follow this and you get stuck somewhere ask in the comments I will surely help you to get your effect done and also if you did learn something hit that like button so I can know you can subscribe to my channel if you want the future updates also check out this other cool tutorials by tutorials junction till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop